we woke up in Switzerland it is very cloudy and a few minutes ago we were having breakfast a great breakfast and it was raining but it already stopped so that's amazing and today we are finally heading to the mountains This was the day, after leaving the super beautiful, fancy and respectful city of Lugano, we planned to ride a little bit in Switzerland, pass through Splugen Pass and then through Stelvio, two iconic and fantastic mountain passes on the same day. Since we left Lugano, we took the A2 and A13 towards Splugan. The day wasn't incredibly sunny, but it was super pretty with all those cloud formations on the mountains. Ok, a few drops got us on the way, not reducing the beauty and excitation we had. All conditions were just perfect to get us super excited and anxious about the passes to come. A lot of bikes on the road, beautiful sceneries and super nice weather. Neither too hot or too cold.
but you know, life is what happens while we're making plans. As we arrived to Splugen with our anxiety and excitement over the moon, a very nice lady was asking people to stop on the side of the road. As we approached her, she did not speak Portuguese or English, and despite our effort, we could not understand neither her German, French or Italian. So we relied on the bikers in front of us, who told us what was going on. So we just entered the Splugin Pass, but it was closed because they are redoing the road and it's going to open in two or three hours. So we decided to stop to put some gas, have some lunch. We just flew the drone and well, this is not a bad place at all. Just stop and wait. in the beginning of the Splugin Pass to wait for two more hours until it's open and we can ride it and there's a few cars here waiting as well we are just hoping we don't get any rain After killing three hours and going back there, we discovered that the lady actually spoke Spanish, since she was from Argentina. We talked a little bit about us, the channel and the excitement, and yet, she told us that the opening was delayed to 5 o'clock, and that it could even not be opened that day.
Well, we had no internet to look for operational roads. BMW connected app was still failing to work and our hotel for the day was just across Stelvio, 400 kilometers away from where we currently were. With all those problems piling up and with an indication from a guy on a camper van next to us that the highway pass to Italy was open, we decided to leave Splugen and head to Stelvio and the hotel. Even though we had a tight schedule and everything looked like it was meant for us not to go for Splugen, we connected to a Wi-Fi on a gas station, checked the map and saw that there was a small chance to get to the hotel in time, if and only if we left Stelvio for other day. For that to happen, we had to cross the Splugen Pass and go around Stelvio from the Swiss side of the border passing through their villages to reach the other side of Stelfi called Solda or Suden region in Italy. Well, we were already in Switzerland, a place that we never thought we would be able to go. And this was why we got all this trouble going up. We had to make it happen. Luckily, after making friends with some of the neighborhood calls, the great news came earlier than it was expected. Our Argentine friend told us to go, and so we finally went to this plug and pass.
after all those ups and downs, literally and metaphorically speaking, we crossed this plug and pass to Italy. What an incredible experience and learning opportunity it was. Extremely beautiful and at 5 p.m. it was still the beginning of our ride against the clock. 300 kilometers to the hotel and 3 hours to do it. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and tell us on the comment, was it worth waiting for this plugin?